New bolas. Are they good and why do they cost so much? Today we're gonna find the answer to these questions, because you've asked me to test them and I did. First of all, where do you get these new bolas? Well, you have to buy the Bounty Hunter role upgrade, this prestigious Bounty Hunter license, link to the guide will be in the description. Then you go to the fans, then you see how much they cost, then you cry and only after that you can buy some for you. I mean really, the cheapest one is $75 each and the most expensive is $120. Why? I mean, yeah, they look differently and now you can carry 12 of them with you, but in my opinion for $100 they should be much better than regular ones, so let's find whether it's true. So when someone is hitting you with a baller, you have to spam the button to break free, otherwise you will be lying there like forever. For regular ballers it takes around 8 seconds to break free, we've tested this many times, so maybe for this new baller this time will be increased. That's how they're gonna be more effective in PvP, because you will be literally killing players with money. Ok, we've tested them all and here are my conclusions. First of all, I've lost $295 and second, they're exactly the same as regular bolas. It always was the same 8 seconds, plus minus, because it depends on how fast you're gonna spam the button. Ok, but bolas are designed for PvE, for capturing bounties. Let's test them in PvE, actually. We're gonna make experiments on this infamous bounty target, and yes, he's mean and evil. When we were using regular bola, he managed to break free in exactly 17 seconds. And then I've used great sand ball on him, which is $75 baller, and you know what, the result was exactly the same. Just want to mention that each time when your enemy breaks free, you're losing the baller forever. So despite the fact that it looks like an extremely stupid and expensive experiment, I've repeated this 5 times with different ballers just to get more data, and you know what, it always was the same 17 seconds. So my conclusion is, I have to be more careful with money, and also new ballers are exactly Exactly the same as regular bolas, but expensive. And usually I don't mind paying for cosmetics, but in this case it's kinda weird, because the shape of bola, especially when it's not yours, is not something that you will see too much, so it's the weirdest cosmetics possible. But you might say, well, you can carry 12 with you now, but I don't know, I don't really run out of bolas like ever, even in PvP, but in PvE especially. But I mean, if you do, you still can buy $75 bolas and have 6 bolas with you and it's gonna be enough for most situations for sure. So I really have no idea why these expensive bolas even exist. If you have any ideas why, please let me know in the comments and I understand that they're gonna be only jokes, but I'm fine with it. Anyway, I hope this information and test will save you some money. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. До свидания.